All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahawashai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the Bayath Dawada, the house of David. Okay, and double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers at Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. It's Brother Hawashai Zion back with another lesson, real quick. All right, and I want to name this and title this. I sit a widow, or a salaki, I sit a queen, I am no widow. Uh, going back to the scripture in Revelation. All right, a.k.a. America is basically um, the great whore. Okay, Babylon the great, mystery Babylon the great. Because a lot of these people here think it's, uh, it's a prosperous place of uh, integrity and, you know, the greatest country on earth, which... In essence, they're right. It is great, all right, but not great in righteousness. Okay, so it says here, Biden leans into abortion rights in speech to Democratic activists. This is an article in Politico. So it says President Joe Biden escalated his attacks on Republicans over abortion rights in a speech to Democratic activists late Thursday. Okay, it says addressing the specifics of what he contends his opponents want. An expansion of abortion bans before many women know they are pregnant. And an attempt to pass a national ban, which he pledged to veto. Okay, so basically he doesn't want a national ban. He wants you to be able to go to different places and get that procedure done. It says, leaning into the Supreme Court's overturning of abortion rights this summer, the president suggested there would be a surge of voter activity in the fall midterm elections, pushing it back against the high court's decision. Biden reiterated that abortion could be just a start of Republican attempts to dial back rights, including contraception and same-sex marriage. <laughs> See? So this guy is for that. He's for same-sex marriage and aborting children. Having the right to choose to abort your child. So is this not the land of confusion, man? Think about what I just said for a minute. Just, I just wanted you to think about what I just said. This guy right here. This, this, this dude right here. This clown right here. Says it's okay for you to abort your child. And it's okay to be with same-sex marriages. That's what he said. Just think about that. All right. All right. Now that you're done thinking about that, let's move right along. <laughs> Listen to this. This is a quote from Joe Sleepy Creepy Joe. As the brothers say, Republicans don't have a clue about the power of women. Biden told the gathering of Democratic Party uh, committee members at their meeting in suburban Maryland. Let me tell you something. They're about to find out. And you know what? This dude kind of looked like he was about to pass away right there when he was saying that. You know, if anything, he's got about like three years left. Three or four more years, if anything, to live. Who knows? Might, he might even croak even before that. But anyways, what he said was, you know, they don't have a clue about the power of women. Now let's go to the scriptures real quick and return back. This is Revelation 18 and 7. How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, which is the mind, I sit a queen, which is like a monarch, and I am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And basically what that means, my brothers, okay, and some of you people that are listening now who are brand new. If you didn't know that America was compared to this whore monarch, the great whore, okay, that basically doesn't hold themselves accountable for anything of wrongdoing, according to the scriptures. And that's why America is called Babylon the Great, which is the land of confusion. Because this place will glorify evil and wickedness, so much so that it's literally gripping 
everyone everywhere. There's TikTok is all about sex and exploitation of people, mainly obviously women, because it's not the guys that are doing it. I'll tell you right now, not to that level. Like the scripture says, all wickedness is little, but to the wickedness of a woman. Or all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. So because they've been given liberty to gad abroad, and the scripture specifically says, give not a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. Because if she does that, she's going to be just literally dealing with all kinds of guys. Because as soon as she sees them, she's instantly attracted to them. This is how they are. That's why they're supposed to be kept in the home and covered and, you know, have restraint for themselves and ha have self-restraint. Okay? Not congregating in the church and everything like that and in these harlot houses out here in the Christian churches, which America has plenty of those. And they say the same thing. They say the same thing. Well, God knows my heart even when they do wrong. Like it says in Re Revelation 18 and 7. How much she hath glorified herself. You know how they say, can't judge me and everything. Same thing. That's, that's glorifying yourself, basically. It says, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. This is basically not taking responsibility, you know. Glorifying themselves, thinking that they're straight when they're not. It's similar to the hypocrites that preach the scriptures, not understanding that if you're not sincere doing the work, you're going to die. And if you don't repent before Yahweh Shai returns, you're going to be dead, man. And you're going to get destroyed by the Heavenly Father with the ICBM nuclear missiles, man. All right. And at his return, you're, you're going to be ashamed of yourself, man. He's going to tell you to depart. Now let's go back to that article. Midway through, it says, Already the abortion issue is special, is in special elections, has led to a burst of women registering to vote and to an elevated turnout, according to election analysts. Now, this whole movement here of the woman voting. And specifically taking place in this evil elections of these corrupted politicians, right? They're raising these concerns and they overturned this at that time frame just for this specific purpose to get more democratic people in there. Because those people are the ringleaders of this party of evil. Clearly, this, this guy's the, the chief commander-in-chief Democratic guy who said that he <laughs> the Republican attempts are going to dial back rights, including contraception and same-sex marriage. So that's that's his basic like argument to keep his Democratic people in power. How convenient that right before the midterm elections or whatever, they turn back Roe versus Wade, sparking a big outrage everywhere. And all the liberal women are going to be turning out in droves. Now, remember, <clears throat> women pretty much outweigh men. Or, or rather, uh, <laughs> well, they probably do outweigh men. But I'm talking about outnumber men by about seven to one. Or at minimum three to one. So, you know, you already know what's going to happen. This going to be a democratic run nation. Because that's pretty much how it's swinging and that's how it's looking right now. And that's not a good thing. Because they spend like crazy and they do nothing. You know what I'm saying? They don't even balance the budget. They're just spending money like crazy in Ukraine and whatever else. Okay? So, you know, that's basically the crux of that. And now we can just go back to this. Let's go to the judgment. After this, Revelation 18 and 7 again, how much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow 
and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. Right. Because ultimately, brothers, never worry about anybody too that double crosses you or any woman that tries to be spiteful towards you or say anything stupid to you, snarky or snide comments and shit. All of this is going to be brought back into question and judgment. And these whores, because really, this great whore, ultimately, of America, okay, this, this so-called queen over here, is really symbolic of all the wickedness of these women here. Because remember, through the woman came sin, and from her we all die, right? Came the beginning of sin. So the transgression of the law begins with their rebellion. This is facts written in the scriptures. All right, and through her we all die. So, who set it off? The woman, because Adam was not deceived, but the woman being in transgression, pursuant to First Timothy, two. Okay, that's why the order is set up as it is. The woman is underneath the man, not equal to the man. She's underneath him, and he shall rule over thee. And that's the way it's going to be. To the end of time. As we know it. Okay. So she's going to be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh. Who judgeth her. Right. Because the Lord has the power to judge matters. And weigh the spirits. And these women are not going to be. Doing their wickedness to this high level. Without any type of repercussions. They're going to have to pay for their sins. And through the spirit. And power of Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Which is. The word of the Lord, the written word of the Lord, we can simply just go into these scriptures and, and check out the judgment. Because no one's exempt. Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Okay, so ultimately it's about that. Sowing to the spirit. Okay, and getting into these scriptures and literally being into the word of the Lord. And if you're not into the word of the Lord, brothers, hey, you already know what's going to happen, man. Okay, you could end up passing away and dying, man. And most of these people, like I said, man, they don't really care. And through the spirit and power of your boss and your shy, you know, all we can do is just send up some prayers, man. You know, for the brothers and everybody else that's doing this work, who who is uh you know of a like-minded spirit. You know, because not a lot of people are. In verse nine it says, "And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not." Absolutely, your work is not in vain in the Lord. You're gonna keep pressing on, pushing on, pushing forward, because everything's gonna work itself out, man. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. So hey, you know this this place is unrighteous, man. And there's another scripture. You know Isaiah ten and one, woe unto them, which means destruction. That decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Right now, guess guess who's the majority of the abortions. Our people, the Israelites, remember, they maximize every opportunity to do evil. Nobody does evil better than Israel, okay? Because they took what the wicked do and they turned it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? You, they made Halloween. Our women really go decked out for that, man. Halloween's coming up. They can't wait for Halloween. They waiting to get freaky in some weird ass clothes and do a seance and shit. And, and get the uh, get the old Ouija board out and start praying to different spirits, man. They, they think that shit's cool. They think that shit's funny, man. They think that shit's a game. And who's pushing that? The so-called white man. Verse 2, it says, and that's, that's the one that did that. And, and why? It says, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. 
that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Right. And that's why a lot of uh, our people are institutionalized and they're literally put into the system and fed that type of garbage, you know, always first fired, last hired, you know, that whole entire evil is because of the grievousness that these people prescribed and then killing kids, you know, which they do through abortion, which is wicked. Abortion is wrong, man. And this guy Biden is making this a big issue because they know they want to hang on to power, man. Dude is 80 something. He's still trying to trying to look for more power, man. You know, but he's not the most high and, and he's going to get judged, man. Verse three says, and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from afar and from far? To whom will ye flee for help and where will ye leave your glory? See? Hey, man, the Lord is going to destroy these people, man. It says, without me, they shall bow down under the prisoners. And they shall fall under the slain. For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Right. So if you could repent, you're not going to get smashed. But you got to get away from these this evil ass culture, man. Fight against it. Just don't let it consume you. Don't let this devil's pressures of this life consume you. And don't let your sins weigh you down. You have to get back up and keep going, brothers. You can't let your sins weigh you down to where you feel, oh, well, you know, I'm just stuck in iniquity. No, you have to ask the Lord for help and get back up, dust yourself off, and start marching forward, man. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Okay? It starts with a single step, man. So step one is what? Repent for the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai is at hand. So you've got to take matters into your own hands, man, and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because this devil, what did he do? He, he's trying to turn aside the needy from judgment. And that's why people rob houses and stuff, man, and, and all of that. And that's going to happen, man. In the future... You know, there's going to be all types of race riots and people breaking into each other's houses, looking for food, and they're not going to have proper judgment. And even on a smaller scale, you know, Jake is like that now. Jake is willing to sell their mother and father for a dollar, man, real quick, sell out their own families. And honestly, that's been happening throughout all history. There's been, you know, uh, Uncle Tom's, as they call them or whatever, you know. Uh, or turncoats, you know what I mean, like a, you know, whatever they, whatever they call it, you know, like a traitor. They've been traitors all the time. You know, even though Uncle Tom, I believe, was was uh, actually like one of the good guys or whatever, but that's what they call him. They call him Uncle Tom. You basically like, um, you're like a, like basically like a turncoat, pretty much. You're just fighting for the other side, pretty much. You know, like Sam Jackson in that movie. Django, you know what I mean? Say, like, whoa, this master, master, he trying to get away. He trying to be tough. Well, whatever he trying to say, man. Which that's a spiritual movie. I got to see that movie again. But yeah, brothers, you know, the, the, our people are the poor. And the righteousness is from the poor. He's taking it away with, with all of these measures and countermeasures. Trying to make abortion, you know, the main point of the midterm elections, man. Okay, so we got to get the hell out of here. You know, don't worry about this place, man. Just stay righteous the way you know. Be thankful that you, Akim, know the scriptures, man. Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. And with that, we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, and Shalom to the hopeful elect.